this video, I'm going to show you how to create amazing thumbnails that stand out using TubeBuddy. Okay, so we're going to use the free app TubeBuddy for this. If you want to try it, you can find the link in the description below. So if you go there, download that and get it onto your browser, then you can follow along with this tutorial. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump inside my computer and put the screen on here so that you can, we can go through the tutorial. Okay, so once you've got the TubeBuddy app installed on your browser, you'll see the little icon up here. We are now in the video settings. This video is obviously uploaded and just ready to have its thumbnail created. So what I would do is I would go down to here. This is your standard customized thumbnail from YouTube. With the TubeBuddy extension, you can see here it says create thumbnail. So I'll just click on that and it asks you what type of background you would like for your thumbnail. You can use a still frame from a video, a solid color, or an image or existing thumbnail. So often I will take a few photographs of myself because I generally have a picture of my ugly mug on the thumbnail and do it that way. Recently I've just been making sure that I smile a little bit or pull a funny face on the video frame so that I can just pull it straight from there. And that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to go for it still frame from the video so when you press that sorry the internet's quite slow so i'm just going to stop it there that looks quite smiley and then you can fine tune it yep that'll do that's fine so from there i'm going to have to pull this out the way because i can't see what i'm doing for you would just click continue Sorry, I've uh, I've gone too far there. So I'm just going to go back. Um, it has put that in there. I did. I, I missed out the section where you actually enter your text. So here we go. We're going to start by just hitting text, and the name of the video is YouTube Content Challenge, or what did we call it? Hang on. YouTube Content Challenge Day 22. So this is how I would do it. I would go type in here for my first bit of text. I like to go caps. You. And add. This is quite difficult with my screen in the corner. Add. So there you see you. And I want that to be white, I think. So I just change the color. I wonder if I can move me to the top corner. Put me up there, out the way. That's better. So choose, and now that's white. I also like to use Anton. I just prefer that as a as a text. And then we just add another one. So text tube. This one is going to be red. Trying to replicate the YouTube, the way YouTube right there. Logo. So as you can see there, I'm going to put that there. That there. I'm going to put a background on it, so shapes. I'm going to choose a square shape and I want red. If I add that, I can put that over there and resize it. Click this one, it'll bring it to the back. Straighten that up. YouTube, I'm not sure if I've done that logo the right way around, but it doesn't matter, I'm just playing about here. Uh, so I need another background shape for there. So we'll go square, and this time I'm gonna go white. Choose, add. Bring that there and size it to how I want. go and reveal that 
that how YouTube looks? That looks pretty good. So YouTube, what was the next text? I keep forgetting. Content challenge. So we need text again. We'll go content, add that. We'll add another text challenge, add that. YouTube content challenge. A day 22. So more text. We'll go day 22. And make that white. Add. So once you've done that, I mean, it's just a case of playing around with what you, how you want to do your your thumbnail i do like to have a background on it rather than just leaving it like that so i'm gonna go to shapes and stick another background we'll just go white hi boy it's my dog just come in here come here say hello now bugger off <laughs> he's just a young dog and he wants to play so I'll just put that one there and bring that to the back. That looks pretty good. And that one I think will go the other way. And I will go just change that text to white. Choose. So that's white. And we'll put a red background behind that, I think. So hit shapes again. Square. And choose your color. It's good and add that just drag and drop it's all really e oops really easy to do so much quicker than faffing about with photoshop reveal that there we go youtube content challenge let's put a a yellow one on here i think so i'm going to change that to black Choose, and then we'll put a background color yellow. Choose, add. See, it's really quick and easy to do this. Run it across there. About there. Reveal that. Day 22. That looks not too bad. Uh, the, the only thing I might maybe do is, in fact, I'm not going to do anything with that. That looks all right. It's not the best, but you could play around with that. I'll probably just use that one. It's 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 easy eye-catching for your thumbnail, and it should give you a good click-through rate. I really, really like how bright and stand out the text is when you do it this way so once you've done that you just click continue kind of shows you what it would look like in a search so you can see there it's very clear youtube content challenge day 22 and that's it i'm going to go with that i'm going to save and publish and that's now just ready for me to finish my settings Click reload. So that's what it'll look like. Looks pretty good. Quite happy with that. And um, if you're interested in this, I know TubeBuddy do a free, a, 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 a free version, and the free version gets you quite a few good bits and pieces. But I'm not sure if you can do what I just done there with the the freeze frame you can do all this by uploading an image if you want this to be able to use a freeze frame from the your video i think you need to pay a little bit i can't remember what it was it's about nine dollars and that that sets you up for for life with them uh, i will leave a link below if you want to have a look at TubeBuddy and see what you think and don't forget that it's not just for creating thumbnails that stand out there's a whole host of things really which i haven't really 
used or utilized everything that they do yet but it's really good for the tag tools best practices and all this and you just follow through it all and it really helps you out with uploading your videos uh, so that you know that you're getting things right particularly with the tag tool but uh, that's a video for another day or you can look around YouTube and find other information on that today was just really about showing you how I create my standout thumbnails for YouTube okay don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed my video and we'll see you next time thanks now